going on you guys my name is if you know how to spell that leave it in the comments below today I'm gonna to be talking about what is the best budget video tripod for filmmakers but um, first let me give you guys the first look on this uh, tripod and if I say the word first again shoot me Looked pretty nice, didn't it? Disclaimer, I am not paid and or sponsored by Care. I just bought this tripod because I wanted a fluid head tripod and I'm making this video because I was very happy with uh, the results of the tripod. Anyways, straight out the gate, let's talk about first impressions. When I took it out the box, I was really happy with it. As soon as I picked up the box, this thing was heavy. Some people might complain about that, but you gotta think about if you're gonna get a fluid head tripod, um, in other words, a heavy duty tripod, it's gonna have some weight to it. It's not a travel tripod. It's meant to hold cinema cameras and heavier cameras. And if you're looking for a lightweight tripod, this is not the one for you. I don't want to discourage you into buying it though, because it's not like super heavy where you can't handle it. I'm just saying it's heavier than your average travel tripod. I was really actually happy about that because right away I'm like, it's heavy, that means it's solid. So first impressions out of the box, I was really happy with how solid it was. It's all like, metal there's a little bit of plastic to it you know this is plastic this is plastic but it's not like cheap plastic it's pretty solid the pan bar here is uh metal it has a nice rubber grip to it this is metal here pretty solid overall first impressions i was really happy with the way it looked straight out of the box there's a lot of detail put into it too like it does have a little level there uh, i like the way they branded everything they put their brand there they put a little logo there for their brand the knobs have you know little pictures telling you which way to turn it and it's just a lot of small minor details which you wouldn't expect in um, a tripod for the budget that this was in but we'll get into that later and um yeah i was really happy with it it also came in a bag which is this bag and i was happy with it because it's a pretty solid canvas bag it's, it's got some padding into in it, so it'll protect the uh, tripod. It doesn't have like suede in it, but it does have padding. You know, it's not gonna protect it from getting scratched, but it'll protect it from you throwing it around. Don't throw it around. I'm happy with it, extremely happy with it, especially for the price point. Recently, I just bought a cheap slider and it came with this bag. So I was kind of expecting it to come with like a little cheap flimsy bag. It didn't, it came with a pretty decent solid bag. Carrying case, if you will. So first impressions, straight out of the box, I was happy with it. Let's move forward into the build quality. Build quality, like I told you, it's solid. It's like, even though it has a little bit of plastic on it, it does feel like really solid. There's nothing about it at all. That little noise right there is the, uh, the screws on the quick release plate moving back and forth. There's nothing about it that's like loose or flimsy, like it's solid. I'm very impressed on the effort this company put into this tripod for the price point. The uh, pan handle is solid, solid rubber, metal. I don't know, it just, it doesn't feel cheap at all. Let's just put it that way. Feels like I paid tons of money for it especially compared to the shit stain 5000 that I got my camera on right now. I didn't put my camera on that because I wanted to show you guys that. Now let's jump into the features of this thing, um, which is probably something you guys are really interested in. On Amazon, because I did get this off of Amazon, for the price point, there's two tripods that are within the same price range. The Voltrox, something I don't really know, and then this one. What impressed me about this one, that it has a dual fluid head. The fluid head is a 360 uh, fluid head, pan fluid head, and then it has a 90 degree pan and a 70 degree tilt. So the fluid head is what really impressed me. The Voltrox doesn't have that, which is kind of strange. So 
I was pretty sold on the fluid head. I almost went with the Voltrox because it is a nice looking tripod as well, but the fluid head is more the reason why I was looking for this type of tripod and that feature really sold me, so that's that for that. Uh, the load capacity, it can handle up to 13.2 pounds, which is a lot. I don't have like a cinema camera. I shoot on a DSLR, so I'm not gonna put that much weight on it. If anybody out there is shooting on a DSLR camera like me, your tripod is gonna be able to handle the load of a DSLR camera, even with a monitor and all the other things like that. It could even handle cinema cameras. It does come with the carrying case. I showed you guys the carrying case which like I said is a solid canvas carrying case. The carrying case comes with this uh, strap. In case you don't want to be holding it like this, it comes with a strap where you can put one in here, one in here, and then kind of like carry it over your shoulder. And then, like I said, the carrying case has some padding in it so it will protect the uh, tripod. And it's a pretty solid canvas material, which I think was great. I love it. Now, it also does come with the uh, detachable pan bar. You just kind of unscrew it here and it comes right off. You can put it in the bag or whatever. I really like the pan bar. It's, it's very solid. It doesn't feel cheap at all. This thing is like a nice rubber grip. Like it doesn't feel like, it's not cheap like plastic. It's actual rubber. So that feels nice in your hand as well. And then the knobs to uh, bring the legs up and down, very smooth. Even bringing the legs up and down is very smooth, but to loosen up the legs, everything is extremely smooth. There's nothing that feels flimsy or cheap about it. And let me tell you when it's locked into place, it's locked in pretty well. So you wouldn't have to worry about like ever putting your camera on it and all of a sudden it gets loose and falls or anything. It's pretty well built, pretty solid knobs. Everything's now the height of the tripod is 33 inches and it goes all the way up to 72 inches which means in feet that's about three feet it goes all the way to six feet so that's the height of the tripod at its like i said at its smallest is three feet or 33 inches and at its highest it's 72 inches which is six feet there's two versions of this tripod i don't think the other one goes as high but it was like ten dollars less or something like that so i was like might as well get the, the one that goes 72 inches this one's the BV30L, and I think the other one is just the BV30. So make sure you look out for that if you're trying to get this same exact one. It won't go as high. Um, it does come with a quick release, and it also will come with two quick release plates. Right here. There goes one of the screws. It does come with a quick release. It does come with two quick release plates. Um, the quick release plates will come with a quarter inch thread screw and also it comes with a three eighths thread screw. And then also the ball here is a 75 millimeter diameter. If I'm not mistaken, I think you can, I'm pretty sure you can replace this head if you want it to with a Manfrotto fluid head. But don't quote me on that because I'm pretty sure not 100% sure and then one more thing on the features like I you know I did tell you about the 70 degree tilt and the 90 degree pan and the 360 whatever the hell but I just wanted to let you guys know and show you here that it has an extremely extremely smooth pan and tilt motion like that's one of the things I loved about it the most it's extremely smooth, it's extremely quiet. If anything, you you might hear noise, but it's just the little uh, screw for the plate. But look at how smooth that thing is. I like. Now, more importantly, how much does this thing cost? Because I know that's what you guys want to know. This thing was a whopping $140. Now, to me, that's amazing because Manfrotto, just their fluid heads, just the heads only starting at like 200 bucks. And then if you want the whole tripod system, then they're starting at like 400 and going all the way up. $140 for that, I think is amazing. That's not bad at all. And if you want me to be exact, it's $139.98. I feel like for the price point, you can't beat that. With all the features I just told you, it's extremely smooth, heavy duty. It can handle a, a decent load capacity. I think it's amazing for $139 and I recommend it to anybody out there. Listen, 
anyone out there interested in buying the fluid head tripod and your budget is about 150 go for it i'm telling you right now you won't be disappointed i'll leave the link down below for the tripod if you found this video helpful as far as looking into getting a tripod give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe thanks for watching always and i'll see you guys on the next one peace out